What's going on Babylonians? It's me, Songs of Braze, and I'm back with another synced video to bring to you. Now, today we're going to be discussing a brand new feature that we haven't seen in any of the previous betas, any of the previous demos, and something that has been hinted when we've seen it at Gamescom and in the last demo, but we didn't have access to it, and this is going to be the Automat Machine. Now, this thing right in front of us is actually going to be probably one of the best ways to get hold of your gun tech weapons. Now, it does require a little bit of luck, it does require a little bit of gambling, but to be honest with you, it doesn't actually require too much money to be able to do it. It's currency that is readily available in the game. It just requires you to be able to put it into the machine, just transfer it over, and then just have that chance of being able to get it uh, to get the gun tech that you actually do want. Now, from what we've seen so far in this game, then if I just quickly activate the automat, you can see that we do have some weapons that are on selection already. Now it does seem that, to suggest that we are going to have different ones, we're going, we're going to have a standard pool and then we're going to have themed ones down the side, and you do have two different types of automat coin as you can see here, so we have automat which is the standard, and then we have limited automat coins, which are going to be for those limited time draws, so whether they're going to be bringing some specific skins, whether they're going to be bringing specific gun tech, that's yet to be seen, that's a bit too early to tell, but from what we can see of this system, it does seem to be fairly kind of free to play friendly, it does seem to have that kind Kind of suggestion that it's going to be relatively easy to access some of the stuff so what we're going to do in this video is we're going to dive into the stats we're going to understand how this system kind of works and we're going to do a few draws on the uh, on in, in this video itself so you can see what you can kind of expect to get out of the machine if you do enjoy this video if you want to see more sync guides from ourselves then make sure to drop that like and subscribe so you find your way back to the channel well, with all that said and done what are we waiting for let's start diving into the guide now the first time you open up the machine like this and uh, you will get directed to this after so many missions inside of the PVE so you, you you kind of have to do a little bit of a kind of not a handheld tutorial but you are expected to go through a few of the PVE runs before you get access to this otherwise it will be staying shut off to you uh, so you do need to progress a little bit into PVE to unlock most of this stuff. Now if we quickly have a look into the details section uh, you can see right here what we can expect to get out of this machine. Now don't be daunted too much right what it says here when it's says legendary drop probability of only 0.2%. That is just per standard, so it does, it's one of those kind of like gacha games where it kind of makes sense to have 10 draws at a time. Uh, so it does make sense to save up 10 coins and then put them all into the exact, exact same time, which we'll discuss in the rules just in a, in a quick second. Uh, but you can see that with, in terms of like legendaries, it's guaranteed gun tech. Uh, so you do have the supernova, which is going to be your black hole gun, and uh, you can actually preview every single one of these from here. The gun looks absolutely stunning, genuinely, like probably one of the best looking things as well. Uh, we do also have the vicious cycle. Uh, I believe this one's the piercing blades that return and may deal stun. Uh, so you'll have the uh, the SMG that hits twice, basically, if you manage to line it up with enemies. And you also have the crescendo, which is going to be one of the most sought after guns in this whole game, because this one does the horizontal shockwaves that does knockback, and knockback is insane strong as it currently stands in this current meta so I probably would recommend trying to get this one out of the three I mean all three are still great ones to be able to choose from but the crescendo is probably one of the best ones that's probably existing in this game as it currently stands now you're more likely to be able to get something out of the epic drop but now just keep in mind that the epic drop does also give you gun tech we do have another six weapons to choose from uh, but you can get the ring of death which is this one right over here uh, a little bit more simpler if you actually go into uh, the shop if I remember right and you buy some uh, no it's sorry event center and then over to Imperia. You can actually get it here with any purchase of Imperia. Uh, if you get three, if you do, if you do buy a pack of three hundred, then this gives you these extra ones as well. So it is relatively simple, relatively cheap to be able to get the Ring of Death. So you can go that way instead. If you just want to get something that's a bit guaranteed, that's probably only going to be active for while the game's brand new. Uh, but just know that there is a different method just in case you want to go grab it that way. So as to the other five that we do have here, when we do have the round trip, this one bullets weaken nano defenses and miss shots will automatically return back to the magazine. It's on the DMR, fairly, de fairly decent fire rate. We also have the Firewalker, where fires in bursts and may deal fire affliction. This is going to be one of the best ones to use for the affliction based builds, uh, because this is already on the professional, which is a burst fire gun. Uh, you're going to be firing in bursts anyway, so you might as well get an extra bit of fire damage on top. Uh, we have the Mr. Efficiency, where bullets break armor, but the magazine size is a little bit smaller. This is on the highest capacity uh, SMG that is in the game anyway, so that should be absolutely fine. I can't really see that being a detriment. Uh, we also have the Grenadier, which turns the sniper rifle, which is the Dragoon in this case, into a uh, grenade launcher. 
So you do have that one that's a lot of fun to mess about with and because it's area damage and because it's explosive you can get use a few mods into your build uh, to increase the amount of damage that this will be doing with the grenades. Uh, you'll also notice it's a little bit animated as you can see here which is genuinely amazing. Like in terms of the, the aesthetics that this game is producing honestly it's like some of the best that we've actually seen in, the, in a game in a while. Uh, we also have the shotgun funhouse where both uh, fires both shells at once when the trigger is pulled and then gets released and it also may deal knockback. Overall pretty standard this is on the close talker so it just increases its fire rate which is quite nice to see. And then the ring of death which we've already just had a quick talk about which just turns the crosshair into a shot assist frame that auto targets nanos. So you basically don't need to worry about aiming anymore you can literally just put enemies within a circle as in a circle on your screen and the bullets will just do the rest for you. So this one's uh, just really good for you know, like new people to the mode or everything like that you can just mess about with it. It will still do weak points it will still do crits and all that kind of thing so you don't need to worry too much about that uh, but it's just like a nice easy kind of relaxed gun to take out and about. Now it is the rare drops that kind of get a little bit kind of like different here because uh, what we do have is access to gun techs as you can see here so we do have pretty much the, like the rest of them uh, some, some of them that are not necessarily going to be top tier or anything like that some really good fun ones to mess about with but it's also really easy to be able to grab hold of some of these and you can just go out and test those into the meridian uh, but the other thing that you kind of want here is they're going to be these chips these are going to be your gun tech upgrade materials you kind of need these because if you if we quickly go ahead on over to uh, if we head on over to Eli I'll explain why that is kind of necessary uh, so for example I'm currently using the deadly tortoise you can see that I've already got one upgrade into this uh, but if I head on over to the augment you can see in the bottom right that we do need uh, so many chips to be able to get, take it up to the next level oh yeah we obviously need our nerva as well but we'll be getting that as standard uh, but we need a lot of these chips to go all the way around as you can see 56 is required just to be able to go up one extra level and you can see all the extra levels that are all the way around so you can see it's kind of crazy as to how many you kind of need to put into this. Uh, but, uh, you know, this is just something you're going to get over time. You're going to be getting those chips that you're going to put into the automaton. Uh, that you're going to be putting in the automat, sorry. Uh, you're going to be doing that. You're going to be uh, getting gun tech chips, which are going to be leveling up the gun tech of your choice. And also, if you do manage to get a duplicate, you can actually get uh, the increase to the augment, which is going to increase the tier of the weapon. And it, what it does is you'll notice that just underneath the weapon card, you'll see how it actually increases the strength of the gun tech rather than the actual gun itself. Uh, a better way to show this one off is because I did get by the ring of death uh, and then I managed to get a duplicate. So as you can see here, uh, you, you know, I've, I've now got an extra increase to my lock on range and also an increase to my range damage. And as you start working your way around, you start getting extra bonuses. So, you know, it, it kind of makes sense to get duplicates in this case and uh, because it actually does help out the rest of your guns. Uh, so, you you know, you, you're not mi really missing out too much if you do actually get a duplicate in this game. So a couple of key things that we do need to note are actually going to be on the rule side over here. Uh, as you can see, we, we, we kind of like puts it in black and white for you. It really does kind of like lay out how this all kind of works. Uh, it, it was also kind of like a little bit friendly to the players as well because uh, as you can see at the start, within the first 10 automat draws, an epic or legendary tier gun tech is guaranteed. You'll be getting 10 draws for just being able to complete the PVE to, to a certain point when it kind of makes it aware to you, when it unlocks it for you. So you have a chance of being able to get any one of these. Unfortunately, I actually managed to get a duplicate of the ring of death which is absolutely typical considering that i did buy the, <laughs> the some imperia from the shop uh, but you know that's just me i just got unlucky but you could get any of these and so most of these are actually really good when it comes to builds uh, you'll also notice that uh, it kind of has something similar to if you've ever played Apex Legends and you have so many packs and then you're guaranteed to be able to get that uh, the, like the heirloom uh, drop which is obviously the uh, the melee weapons that you can take in and some of the skins. Uh, if a legendary tier gun tech has not been awarded after 45 automat attempts then the probability of obtaining a legendary tier gun tech will gradually increase for each subsequent attempt and while the probability of obtaining rare will start to decrease. So this will start going and working its way up and this will start getting a little bit less so you you have better chances of being able to get this over time uh, which is really really good you also have if a legendary tier gun tech has not been rewarded after 59 automat attempts then a legendary tier gun tech will be guaranteed on the 60th attempt uh, what we're going to try and test out in this video is to see that if we do 10 uh, of like groups of 10 if we manage to get it all the way up to the 60th so the six group of 10 are we guaranteed to get that legendary drop we may actually get it in before then but what we'll do is we'll use this video to be able to do that testing for you so you know full like first hand if that works. 
And then also, once a legendary tier gun tech has been awarded, probability will be reset back to 0.2%. Each weapon tier has a probable drop rate, which we've already established. Uh, and legendary gun tech, basic rate of 0.2, and then, or, including the guarantee, basically works out 1.9%. If you're interested in terms of those stats, feel free to be able to have a read through that. But just so you know, the, like, the main important things are going to be the first three bullet points anyway. Uh, so that just gives you, that tells you how you're able to obtain some of these legendary drops, even though it only says 0.2% right there. It is a little bit misleading that it is a bit more guaranteed that you can actually get these. So if we click over to our automatic records, what you can do is once you get your 10 drop, you can see the stats of what you managed to get. Uh, so for example, with my first 10 that I did get, I got the Ring of Death, which was that duplicate. Uh, I did get uh, four other uh, gun techs. You can see that I did get duplicates with the auto magic, but I also did get a deadly tortoise, which I was able to use. And then we've also got the gun tech upgrade material, so you can see what you've managed to get. If you ever want to go work, but work your way back just to see what you did manage to get, or if you accidentally click through and you completely missed what you did see, then you can use the automatic records just to be able to have a quick look through what you've managed to get. So that's all the boring stuff, that's all the information out of the way, so let's actually start working our way through some of these draws. Now you will see that I've already used 10, so I'm expecting after 5 of these draw 10s that I will get a legendary. Uh, that's why I'm expecting due to the information that we've been told. You can see I've got 61 coins, so I've managed to uh, get myself up to there so I can do this properly. So well, let's, uh, let's work our way through, let's go get our first 10, let's start opening those up. And you get this nice little lovely animation. Uh, I'm going to assume because this is purple that I'm going to get an epic out of that, but I suppose we'll see in a second. There we go, we've got one. And we got the round trip. Okay, but we were off to a decent start. We got something that we didn't already have. And uh, this is the, the, the sniper rifle, the DMR, that weakens nano defenses. And the bullets come back to us. And then you get this nice little animation to see what we did actually get out of that. So we got one purple. But we're off to a good start. Uh, like I said, something new. And we got a few SMG uh, kind of chips to upgrade. We've also got the firing squad special. Uh, so that's going to be our horizontal line. I believe also does melee damage, if I'm, if I'm incorrect. Uh, no, it's just purely a horizontal line. That's fair enough. And then we've also got the no filter. Uh, pulling the trigger empties the whole magazine. First and last bullets always stun. And we've also got the generator, which also ammo regenerates when not firing. So overall, not too bad. We've actually got a bunch of new stuff that we didn't have before. So let's click that. So we're now up to 20. So uh, let's do another 10. Hopefully we get something good out of this one. Hopefully another pur another good purple, if that's the case. Oh, we've got one there. Now neither one purple though. We've got the Grenadier, so we get to have this really nice looking Dragoon skin. Uh, so we also get to do some explosive grenades, so that could be a lot of fun to mess about with in an explosive build. Let's have a look at what else we got. Okay, so we did get the Chaos Theory, so that's a brand new gun tech that we haven't seen. So continuous firing increases damage spread and recoil. Overall really good to go on the Bully, because the Bully uh, is quite a high capacity magazine as well. And overall, it's not a bad looking skin. Uh, you can use these skins over in PvP as well. Just know that you won't be able to use the gun tech. Uh, but you can see that we also got a bunch of duplicates when it comes to this as well. So we got, yeah, most of it. So most of it was kind of like a bit pants. But we do did get the Grenadier. So overall, we're pretty chuffed with that one. So we're now up to 30. Let's do another 10. Like I said, we're working our way up to it so that we get to the 60th draw. And then that should, in theory, be a legendary. But I guess we'll find out. So we've got another purple right there. So just the one purple again. And we've got the Ring of Death. So that's just going to be going transferred into uh, some extra credits. So we can we can actually show you off um, being able to turn that into to make it a little bit stronger and make the effects and all that kind of thing. So we also got some Deadly Tortoise. We also got the Pocket Rocket again. Uh, but we did get the Sweeper. So let's have a look at the Sweeper. Fire three bullets at once in horizontal spread that deal melee damage. Now, I'm really interested to try this one out because melee uh, mods were introduced in this latest build. And melee is looking a lot of fun when it comes to a playstyle. So the fact that we can have a gun that deals melee damage is going to be hilarious. I'm honestly really looking forward to it. And I'm really I'm really happy that I've managed to get that gun tech. So, uh, so we're now up to 40. Let's do another quick 10. Looking like we're going to get another purple. Oh, I think we just got a legendary. Let's have a look what we got. Oh, we even got a purple as well. So what do we get? We got the Firewalker, which is perfect for affliction-based builds. I'm absolutely really chuffed with that one. And we got the Vicious Cycle, which is the SR. Oh, that is a lovely animation. 
Oh, that is stunning. Uh, it's not the one I was after, but I'm going to take it. I'm, I'm, I really want to try and deal with this one because uh, I, I think stun can be a decent build, but we're going we're gonna to test that one out. Uh, but overall, that's uh, that's a good draw. That's, that is a good draw. So we've got the Vicious Cycle absolutely stunning. Let's have a look at that, uh, that camo again. That is amazing. If only that was on the bully instead of the uh, the enforcer, if I remember right. But uh, still, I'm very happy. We also got the critic, which uh, your weapon fires in six shot bursts and his critical chances increased to 100%. So we're going to be doing some really nice consistent damage. Looking nice on the uh, I think it's the space walker, if I remember right. And we also got the fire walker. Oh, space cadet, that's the one. There we go. And then we got the fire walker. I'm not a huge fan of the uh, of the camo on this, but uh, still happy that we got some extra gun tech. So how's this going to work now? So uh, we've got our, we're now up to 50. Uh, let's have a quick check at the thing. So it does say if a legendary gun tier has not been awarded after 45 attempts, there is a chance that we're not going to actually get anything. But uh, do you know what? We've done the video. Let's actually go through the draws. Let's let's do it properly. So let's see if we can get, see if we can get even more lucky. See if we can get something really, really nice out of this. Either way, duplicates are still going to help us out anyway. So, oh, we've got a couple of purples. All right, let's see what we got. Round trip, it's another duplicate, but that's fine. And uh, we also got a duplicate to the Grenadier, but that should, in theory, make the grenades a little bit stronger, so that's fine. All right, so we didn't get anything new in terms of that. We just got basically a bunch of upgradable gun tech, and we also got some chips, so that's fine. That just increases how strong they are. And let's do our last 10. Let's just uh, let's just drop those in the machine. Let's, uh, let's just hope we get something nice. So no legendary, unfortunately. But we did get our one purple, so let's see what we got. And it's another ring of death. Great. Can't wait to increase that ring of fire. Uh, so that's fine. And it looks like we're just going to get a bunch of duplicates. But that's fine. Like I said, we can just increase the strength of all those. And we just got some chips. So that looks like to be everything. The last thing that I do want to briefly mention is going to be the automatic rewards. Uh, like I said, this is something that you will build up over time. Uh, but eventually you will be able to get enough spins that you will start earning all of these bundles. So for example, we can see the homemade. Uh, we've also got the wrought iron bundle, which is going to be your backpack, so you can customize that as well. But we also have the plague doctor bundle as well, just for being able to get to 800. As far as I can tell, there's no time limit on that, but you know, you never know when it comes to that. Uh, so if we do find out, then we'll make sure that's a pinned comment so everyone's up to date. But you do get some extra rewards just for being able to roll them. But uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with why I managed to get there. So let's have a quick run over here. Let's start having a look at the, gu the gun tech itself. You can see all the drops we just got. Uh, let's just see if we can augment this. So we do have 42 out of 10, so we can increase all of the damage on this. So this is just completely free to do so. So let's do that. There we go. So we managed to get it to level four, tier 4 out of 5. Uh, so we've now got it. So our attack strength is increased by 80% at low health. And we just get a 40% increase to our range damage, which is absolutely huge. Uh, so we haven't got enough chips on the LMG chips to be able to increase it, but that's just the one gun. So let's have a look at what else we can potentially do. So I believe when you get these little uh, upgrade icons right there, that should mean that you can start augmenting and increasing their uh, like capacity right here. So we did manage to get a bunch when it comes to the Ring of Death, so we can increase that here and here. So now the Ring of Death is now going to give us a 20% increase to our radius in terms of like how we can lock on to enemies. And I'm also getting a 75% damage boost to our range damage as well, which is really, really nice to see. And then we can just increase that further if we do get a few more drops out of it. Uh, what else did we manage to get? Let's have a look at the Vicious Cycle. I assume I can't do anything with that just yet. But I can increase and augment it this way to increase range damage, stun damage, reload speed and ammo capacity. I'm probably going to do that at some point. Uh, let's have a quick look at what else we managed to get. So, Grenadier, we managed to get a duplicate of that. So, what does this do? Runner explosive damage increases by 35%, 100%. I'm going to have to put that in there. And all of those just increase the amount of damage they do. So there you go, that is pretty much how the automat pretty much works, that's how the runs, uh, so in terms of like the balls that you managed to get out, in terms of the drops, and that's what you can do with the stuff that you managed to get out of the machine. It also tells you how the risks wor work with it when it comes to probabilities and everything, so hopefully you've learned something useful with ourselves, hopefully you've learned something from the, uh, the footage uh, to see what I've managed to get, and hopefully you've, you know, best, best of the luck to you, hopefully you've managed to get something nice out of yours as well. 
But massive thank you for making your way to the end of the video. Massive thank you to the Babylonian family as always for their continued support. If you did enjoy this kind of content and you want to see more from us when it comes to Guides to Saint, then make sure to drop that like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. But with all that said and done, that just leaves me to say, keep yourself safe, keep yourselves well, and I'll see you all on our next video.